Hey guys, Mozu with Negron Tech here, and it's been about a week since Necropolis launched. All in all, the Earthshatter Berserker is really an excellent starter. It's able to get the red maps on just a 4 link like I did. I didn't get a 5 link until about level 91, 92. And it really breezes through the normal endgame pinnacle content through the innate power of like Rage, War Cries, and the other goodies that Berserker gives you. With that said, you guys know I love melee. I fucking love slams, but yet again, melee builds get absolutely shafted. And we get shafted pretty damn hard this time. It's kind of insane. And I'm not just talking about the bone shatter changes that just occurred. But what I'm talking about is the league mechanic. This crafting league mechanic. Now I do love the league. And even before the big patch, to be honest, I, I did enjoy Necropolis. And I still do. But as a primarily melee player, weapon crafting in Necropolis for melee is just dead to me right now. All right, so for you, for those of you who don't know, the best way to craft an Necropolis is to get a basis of what you really, really want to do. I made a couple items just by doing increases of fizz that I want. You know, I don't want mana, I don't want elemental, stuff like that, right? But Craft of Exile, they do have a new tool, and I am a little bit behind. I uh, only had two days off. I had Friday's, Friday league launch, got sick, played Saturday, and then I was uh, worked Monday to Thursday, so I haven't really had a time to play. I'm only level uh, 95 on my build, which will be in the link too, so... You go to Craft of Exile, you start on the page of uh, the calculator, right? So you pick a group, and you know you want to make that GG weapon. I am going to talk about the Axe Craft, but first I want to show you the bow and why it is utter bullshit that, again, melee characters get absolutely shafted while, you know, casters and bows and, uh, and other shit just get, you know, giga buffed, and they just always get quality of life compared to us, where it's just like... I don't even know why I really played melee. I, I love the build, I really do. But when the devs absolutely refuse to do anything about like fixing it or addressing like so many problems, you know, I was watching. Um, uh, I don't go on Twitch too much. I'm normally on YouTube all the time. But I see it a Karn the Slayer guy where he is not even playing Slayer. This he's playing a different game. That's how bad it is, right? Like that's how bad melee is. That the melee uh, Chad himself is not playing it, right? So. It's unfortunate. So you go here, you pick the two in the weapon. We're going to do the bow example because I want to show you how stupid it is. And you're going to craft, uh, not craft, you're going to pick the affixes you want. In this case, we're going to want, uh, I think it was not showing up. So you want triple T1 Ellie, you want T1 attack speed, T1 crit, and T1 crit multi. We're going to go to graveyard as the method. And normally the chance is crazy, but I do want you to see the amount of tries and then the confidence level, right? So That'll give you an idea, so you have your six uh, affixes that you want. Again, depending on your build, this will change, but try not to make it too different. Um, like for this one, there's going to be a lot of fizz uh, that are scarcer. Don't try to get like a fizz leech, obviously, because it's not going to happen. It's going to kind of just make it too much harder than it needs to be. So you're going to click Compute Best Selection, and then it's going to compute it for you. And what I want you guys to look at is the confidence level and the tries. The confidence level is that for every try that you have attempt, a total chance of you hitting the item is what's going to be, right? So <laughs> in two tries, you have a 75% confidence level to get an item like this. You look at the corpses and you're like, hmm, 17 fire, uh, 14, res nothing crazy, nothing crazy. This is perfectly, perfectly reasonable. And if you, let's say you don't get it those two tries, you go to three tries, 87% chance, you go to four, sorry, four tries, 93% confidence chance to get a GG bow with just this setup. In a solo, even in solo cell phone for me, I'm not a, I'm a melee person, but if I wanted a GG bow, I know that eventually I just keep playing, I'm going to hit it eventually, it's going to happen. And I don't have any crazy requirements when it comes to corpses. I don't have anything crazy when it comes to corpses. It's going to be perfectly, perfectly reasonable, right? So that's why it's complete and utter bullshit uh, for melee, at least. You know, so we go to Craft of Exile again. Let's let's do our axe example. So we pick an axe or whatever. Like, it doesn't really matter. We'll do Vow Axe. Uh, method is the graveyard. And as a slam character, we want Fizz, Hybrid Fizz, and Flat Fizz. As any melee, this is what you want. For us, you might be thinking, Mo, you don't need attack speed, you're a slam. We still do. It's very, very important. And the other two suffixes, they, they don't really matter. Uh, bleed is like, okay. I think end game, I would like to get increase uh, cooldown recovery rate. That would be pretty cool. It'd be a big DPS increase just from getting uh, lower cooldowns on our war cries. But let's compute this and see what happens. 
And again, there are things missing. There's no quality. There's no uh, split. There's no fracture. There's no make a copy of the weapon in this. So uh, there's no links either. But you look at a build like this and you see, again, I'm a solo self out player. Four tries for 68% chance. Not too bad. But you look at the bow, right? The bow is four tries, 93% chance. Let's make a wand, right? Because Archmage is very, very, very popular this league. Let's make a wand. I don't know the GG wand that somebody would want. But let's just say, you know, hybrid and flat mana. Definitely, it's definitely cast speed. Maybe not. Man. See, I don't know about doing this. Like, maybe they don't want crit. Maybe they do want crit. Let's just say we want crit and crit multi, right? Just, I guess, be basic with it. Where is crit multi? Do, 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 do. Global crit multi. Sorry, guys. Here we go. I'm not too familiar with this tool. And we have five, right? Open prefix, or maybe not open, whatever hits, hits, but. Um, not too bad, right? So we're going to compute the best selection and let the graveyard see what it turns up for us, right? I don't know if I've done this exact scenario. Uh, not recording, but I think it's definitely going to be better than the axe. And I'll kind of explain why. This does not compute in the back screen. So if I go here and come back, it's the same thing. Yes, I got to keep it on the page. So just wait for this to finish. Sorry, guys. And, you know, it's just, again, similar to the bow. GG Archmage Wand, like, again, you would probably want plus the skills, but getting a two try 75% confidence rate is just utter insanity, and again, as you get more, you get a higher and higher, higher chance to get it. Now, looking at the wand, the only thing that's egregious, really, about crafting the wand is that the elemental and the fist scarcity is kind of a pain in the ass, but take a minute and think, right, if I only need to get 80 uh 92 elemental 92 fist corpses and th those are the only egregious corpses right that's really it everything else is super this actually might be easier to craft on the inventory and the stash tabs than uh the bow because the bow you do need a good amount of balance uh fire cold and uh no lightning huh oh that's weird fire cold and resist are the big ones right but still only ha even having to do it 88 times uh 40 uh what's that 12 52 like it's, it's not bad it's re it's really 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 not bad but you look at the axe and you see something like this from our bill we want that uh, attacks me to slam and there are ways to circumvent this and make it a little bit easier on the corpses but for only a 68 percent confidence rate and then we need 28 scarcity corpses per craft it's pretty much dead guys for solo self final it's just dead um I highly recommend you don't even bother. Just use other crafting methods. And the big, big issue is as a Fizz build, no matter what you do with all the scarcity is that you still have a good percent chance to hit this mana and this life. Uh, it sucks. I know you guys are probably looking at things like this and like, oh my God, that's so lucky. But guys, this is like one in a million. Super, super, super lucky. Like, you know, you have uh, peak players, 187,000 plus however many thousands of people hundreds maybe even a hundred thousand people play without steam and off the client so somebody's somebody eventually is going to get stuff like this my advice to you is let those people that want to waste all the resources to craft like a gg axe like let's do that axe real quick too and as we're doing that axe i will explain why uh we're kind of just screwed as a uh, melee compute i can scroll down so the biggest issue is that as the fizz you can see here i know it's a little bit hard because it's blurred out but we have a 6.35% chance to brick the prefixes, right? You might not think that's too high, but when you have a 6.3% combined chance to brick the prefixes, and then it used to be 9 before I changed the modifiers, but like even for something like that axe, it's even worse, right? Let's go to that axe. Like that axe is, you have a higher chance to brick the prefixes than you do to, to hit, hit these. And that's only really... A statistic when it comes to hitting both of these when it, hitting both of these and not hitting the 10 percent of these is much 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 more difficult right so that is why it's so hard you see the potential for brick is very 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 bad for the axe and melee in general but then you go to the wand and you're looking at this and you see the the only chance to really brick the wand excuse me excuse me is a two percent chance that's nothing that's absolutely nothing. When you have a 73% chance here and an 18% chance here, that's nothing in breaking the item, especially when the only other 
relatively high percent chance of spell damage, which is good. You do want spell damage. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's kind of crazy to me. But you, you see why the axe is so bad. And then there, there are ways to play around with this to maybe get a little bit better chance and to make the corpses not so egregious. But that's just another thing, guys. Like, this solo cell found is just uh, pretty much dead to me. Like, when you, the ball, the highest amount of corpses you need is 17, I think, right? Yeah, 17 for 2 and then 14 for 1. Perfectly reasonable. Not a big deal, especially when you only need to do it maybe 2 to 3 times. And then you go to the wand. The wand is a little bit more because you get the 23 fizz. Let's see what this one is. 20 LE. Ooh, okay, so getting adding that uh, fizz is really, really, really bad. Or adding the spell damage is really, really bad. But you don't really need it. Like, getting the good game. Like, just getting this, uh, the double mana is huge. You can always craft spell damage and be set, you know, uh, Ellie as Chaos or whatever the hell you want to do. But you can see how egregious it is compared to the actual axe. Like, guys, imagine getting, like, nothing even comes close to 30 here, right? Like, 20, 22, but you need that for every craft. If I wanted that axe, 19 tries, man. Like, 19 tries. 25 tries to get even remotely similar to uh the bow or the wand and that's not even similar that's still lower you know like you'd have to get a 40 let's see 43 percent chance to get 90 five six verse six tries for the wand first four tries for the bow 43 tries for the axe it's just uh, dead in the water now imagine like i can't do that math in my head i'm sorry but imagine getting 1,505 physical physical corpses. I'm not going to do that. That's never happening in Soul Cell Found. In trade, I, I would rather... Uh, there are other more painful things that I would do than this. Like, that is utterly miserable. Soul Cell Found, never going to happen. Trade, again, it's just utterly miserable. Again, it's not that bad if you go uh, this route. I think it's actually even better... If you just get rid of the attack speed and just pray that you get a, a random suffix. But we'll see. It's just crazy that, you know, it just it doesn't stop with the melee abuse. No way. See, I feel like it's changing more than it is, but you know, like, like guys, it's just it's just not gonna happen. Like the you know, you can try to play the lottery and win, or you can just try to be smart and let other people uh, hopefully get some items like this and maybe get super lucky. Maybe there's a way that uh, it's not too bad. Like one of the best options I think that I would do for uh, crafting an axe is, is to get a fracture, right? Is to pray to God, uh, modify these corpses right here, get rid of crit. We can get rid of uh, this attribute roll on prefix. You're going to get rid of everything that does not roll on prefix, right? We're only going to go with three explicit modifiers so you can't get minus one explicit but what you can do is just uh increase the chance for prefix uh let's go yeah maybe that would work life you know speed nope resistance you can't get resistance on uh prefix so we can get rid of that chaos we can speed we're not trying to get any suffixes that would be uh detrimental and i think your best option would honestly be to craft something like this it's kind of hard guys like maybe get rid of a couple fizz ones and as we get rid of fizz it just gets like harder and harder you see like the gems are now like getting up there the chaos is getting up there my advice would be to do something like this and then add uh fractures and copies and just pray to god that you get either hybrid fizz or uh well, really, just pray to God that you get any one of these as a fracture. And then from there, you craft from there like you would any other weapon, right, that you would have back in the day. Um, that's pretty much it. Again, you can see why statistically everything else is better than melee once again. Like, I really thought the crafting mechanic would probably help us a little bit. And it does not. It utterly bends us over and fucks us again. Like, it's... Me melee needs so much work it's just kind of insane and again they just don't give a fuck which is fine you know poe2 will fix it probably not but hey maybe after uh six years when poe2 comes out since like 
the melee we work and shit. Maybe that will fix it. Six years, guys. And uh, again, I don't, I don't mean too, I don't mean to be so much of a Debbie Downer. I, I think it's more funny. I really don't give a fuck. I think it's just funny that like, oh wow, melee sucks again. Huh? I still played. I still started it, and I still love the game and have fun with it. But uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes I, I get too into the whole doom and gloom, and uh, I, I, I joke about it, right? So uh, really, it's really not too bad. Just craft other ways, guys. Ignore Necropolis as a melee player. And I hope you guys have a good one. Most of them never going to take care. Take care.